so guys uh, in this lecture we are going to in this in this lecture we are going to create we are let's let's take a look at the building in 3d this is what we have here now let's go back to our floor so what are we going to do next we'll come to slab right click set slab types automatically click ok ok good so we can we can create strips on our on our slab so here is slab strip you left click on it this is x x as is you left click you hold it you this is how you do it you left click then you you can hold your control to make it straight then you left click here and you release you can see that your strip has been you see that your reinforcement has been set in the x direction if you like you can limit this you can limit this spacing how do you do it come to settings slab steel bars let's see on the on the steel bars this place if you like you can limit it to 200 uh, this is the minimum spacing and maximum spacing here it's y12 this is the reinforcement we choose so this how it's been done so you see click on your x so here since here is a staircase we are going to design our staircase manually so we won't put strips on the staircase room so you see this bulb me is starting from beam and ending at beam so now I'm still select here, left click there, hold our control, release, escape once, select here, hold our control, release, escape once, hold here, left click, left click, uh -huh. hold our control, release, left click here left click hold control release so now we can left click here hold control and come all the way this side left click this one will start here and left click there we we'll have it well you are done with reinforcement in the x direction they will fix reinforcement in the y direction you change this to y then bulb to bulb beam to beam yeah. so that means we're starting from beam and into beam you see left click here left click up here hold your control drag drop here let's make this one too if you like here now you can see slab to beam that's when you are starting from slab and ending to beam so you can start from this slab and end at that beam then here now you're starting from beam to beam because we are not we're not putting strip here on this staircase room so you can say beam to beam start here hold your control key release the then here so you can start from beam hold and release remaining this one you can see do beam to beam select left click here hold and drop there then when you are done you can close Yeah. So 
what are we going to do next? We we'll now generate floors. To to generate floor, the first thing you come to stories. You right click. You insert number of stories. You say for for a residential building. Then your number of story like for first for like one suspended floor like this one your your you put two number you put number of story you assume that here is story one and the roof roof beam two is another story so you have two stories so you now insert two here and then you click ok this comes up you see yes so now it has come to story two left click twice on the first story you come back then still left click on this story right click and then you can edit story so that you can put some information so now edit story so you can see that the story heights the the default one is 3000 so you now put for you put 3150 3150 okay some people use 3152 as a roof beam as a second story if you like you leave it 3000 but well, let's go with 3150 then our foundation let's say we are using 1200 okay then you can now click ok then now you can generate your story how do you do that you come to story right click then you see generate story then you then here now you are trying to this is the source story and this is a target story that means all these things that were done here want to copy it to the next floor so you let's do that again left click right click generate story so i want to copy this and bring it to this story yes but it's not everything i want to copy i don't want to copy slab slab load slab anything slab i'm not copying because there's no slab on the roof beams so this is so I'll now click OK and then I'll close. Yes. So let's take a look at it in 3D. Good. This is what we have here in 3D. But if you can see it also copy this beam wall loose. But the beam wall loose on the on the roof beam are not this high. We just need a little load to take care of our wood. Our wood load. Okay. So now you can let's come back to floor. Yeah, we're on uh, this is the roof beam story two. This is the roof beam. You can also get it here. This is story one, story two. Good. So let's come back to story two. So we can select one of these, edit, edit story, and then instead of then we can change this wall height to one point five. That is enough to take care of our roof load. Then we can now copy it, copy beam wall load, select the whole last floor, and we now paste and paste on it. Give it time. So then let's now take a look at it in 3D. Go this wall having 3D, and we may we are going to delete some beams like like this beam is useless on the roof uh -huh. well, I don't delete that one depends on you now some you want to delete some then you can also select this roof beams and change the thickness of change the thickness of the beams you can and select everything control yeah. Control. Yeah. And you select all these beams on the roof. Yeah. Control. Yeah. When you select control. Yeah. Can be able to select all these beams on the roof.
right click open properties this is the depth some people leave it this 450 but if you like you can change the thickness maybe to 350 now all your roof beams will have a depth of 350 depends on you if you analyze that you see that it fades you can be able to increase it So this is it when you are done now you can close so let's select one of these at random and see if the properties have been changed is 375 supposed to be 350 we did a mistake on that one let's select this one to and change see good 350 so in our next in the next lecture now we'll learn how to analyze this building but before we go now let's see this is something we need to do the, this there's no roof there's no beam here this beam is not up to this place so so now so now let's come back so let's come back to our ground floor so we we'll now draw this beam properties draw this beam here and draw this one here let's take a look at it in 3d okay this is it you can select can select this beam and select this column come to properties then story lens and change it to two the work I think is this one properties change it to two good so that if you select it now it will be one story yeah you see so this side too you do the same thing select this one and delete first <laughs> select this one properties change this to two close 
yeah so thank you for watching we'll continue in our next lecture